Hello everyone, my name is Hanadi and I am a fourth year medical student now. I just finished my third year like a week ago and I am very very happy about that. If you know me, you would most probably know me from TikTok. I post videos there about medical school and all types of stuff related to that. I do love posting TikTok videos, however, I did want something a bit longer and something I can look back on. So I decided to start making YouTube videos. So I am going to uni because although I did finish my third year, which is my last preclinical year, we do have a couple of training courses we have to take or classes in order to prepare us for our clinical years. So I'm going to show you around. I just stopped at Starbucks because I did not have any uh, breakfast or coffee. So I'm going to have that before the class starts. Today we're going to practice some uh, injection skills and IV cannulation. Yesterday we had a course all about trauma, emergency medicine and an online course about ultrasounds and how to read them. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys around. Let's see how it goes and let me know if you like longer videos and if you have any other suggestions for things that you would like me to film. After uni, I went to grab a quick bite with my friends and then I headed straight to the gym. Okay guys, I'm done with my workout. That was brutal. It absolutely killed me. I have my protein shake and we're gonna go home. I'm in my car and it's golden hour. I just wanted to give you guys a tip. I always have my gym bag in the car with me so that I can go straight after uni if I don't finish that late because I know if I go back home, I'm just not gonna go to the gym. So a huge tip for you guys is keeping your gym stuff in your car so you can go straight after work or uni if you can. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, it's Wednesday, and I am just about to head off and go to uni. Today we have a hands-on ultrasound practice. So we're going to be practicing on how to use the ultrasound machines. I just finished the ultrasound class. It was very interesting. We got to learn the different placements and we got to see different organs and obviously the most interesting was seeing the heart contract. Uh, obviously I couldn't film because we were a group of students and obviously out of privacy for the simulated patient or the fake patient. Now I am going to go study at a cafe with my friends. After that, at around 5 p.m., uh, we are going to volunteer at a specific place in order to take people's uh, blood pressure because it is uh, May Measurement Month. So we are just trying to spread awareness and make people just check up on themselves from time to time. And I will show you guys when we go there. We just finished volunteering. We literally stayed five hours, so from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. It was such an amazing experience. I met so many lovely people, especially elderly women. They were really, really nice. They kept complimenting us and wishing us good luck and it was such a beautiful experience i loved it so much there was particularly this one elderly lady she was extremely sweet she kept taking pictures with us and she kept hugging us uh, she is taking chemotherapy she's literally like a ray of sunshine 
and she just gives positive energy to everyone who is next to her and she was very very sweet i loved that interaction so much so i just got home but i wanted to uh, speak about something because i've noticed a lot of it today it's very important to regularly have your blood pressure checked especially for any elderly people in your family definitely encourage them to get it checked as well as their blood sugar i was surprised i saw a couple of people today who have never checked their blood pressure nor their blood sugar it's good to check up even if they don't physically feel anything because sometimes they don't know that something is going on and yeah, that's all I wanted to say. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I am joined by my mommy. We're going to run a few errands today. I actually had a late start to my day because yesterday I went to bed late. Would you like to say anything? No. It was a very long day, but alhamdulillah everything is okay. So we just got done. We came to the hospital because I had to get my hepatitis B titer checked really hoping I do not need a booster dose but yeah it is for my rotations before I start my rotations so yeah that's what I've been up to so far I'm not gonna lie to you guys I am not feeling this at all and I did not hydrate properly today, so I just know I'm going to feel it in my workout. But I'm telling myself, okay, just 30, 40 minutes in my apartment gym, let's get this done. I just finished my run. I am going to stretch a little bit. I always have a running phase every winter. I would run like three times a week, and then every time the weather starts getting bad, I stop which is really bad because the longest I've ever run was five kilometers I really want to get better at running because I literally stink but this time I am going to try and be consistent with it I want to try at least uh, having runs every week today I did two kilometers which you know we're easing back into it i do encourage you guys to get up and do some form of exercise it is not only good for your body but so good for your brain as well for your mental health yeah i'm challenging you to get up and at least do a five minute stretching session all it takes is five minutes you're going to feel great afterwards Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now Okay, so I'm almost done with my workout. I did a bit of upper body, practiced some pistol squats, and then now I'm just gonna do a 10 minute run and then go home and shower. I just came back home. I was at the mall with my mom and then afterwards we went to the grocery store. The past couple of days have been, you know, pretty messy and not really structured just because I am enjoying or trying to enjoy the feeling of doing nothing or having nothing to do because that is going to change however tomorrow is a monday and it's going to be a pretty busy day you guys are going to see and i do obviously everyone loves doing nothing but i feel like even when i am physically resting my brain is constantly living in the future and that's something that I am trying to work on. I do love living in a routine. I love having my day structured out. So I feel like, 
you know i'm going to feel a bit better in the upcoming days and yeah i'm going to get ready for bed have my dinner and prep my stuff for tomorrow and i will see you then good morning everyone i hope you can hear me i'm on my way to uni i have a cpr course i hope everyone's having a good day so far i will talk to you guys when i'm at uni you're enjoying this so far i know that i am not filming everything but i am just trying to gather like clips and moments from times that are just more interesting and i know that other maybe medical students want to see or other students want to see i am back home i had my lunch and i freshened up we're going to see the new little mermaid movie so i am excited to see i've heard mixed reviews about it but i will let you know what i think of it <laughs> going to end the video here thank you so much for watching and staying till the end of the video if you'd like to keep up with me on other social media platforms i will make sure to link them down below let me know what other videos you guys would like to see hope you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much for tuning in